The E-Freighter, specifically the E-190F version, achieved an important milestone by obtaining full certification from the Federal Aviation Administration in September of 2024. The passenger-to-freighter conversion method that was established by Embraer and the cargo system that was built by U.S. Cargo Systems are both validated by this certification. After receiving clearance from Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency in July of the same year, this certification was obtained. Additionally, certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency is anticipated to be successfully completed by the end of the year 2024. Embraer created a program to convert pre-owned E-190s and E-195s from passenger planes to freighters in order to meet the growing demand for cargo capacity, particularly in smaller markets. This was carried out in response to the dramatic rise of e-commerce. The first deliveries are anticipated for 2024. The e-freighter made its inaugural flight in April and made its first public appearance at the Farnborough Air Show in July. Rather than relying on straightforward quick-change methods, which involve removing seats from passenger cabins, Embraer e-jet freighters incorporate structural changes. For example, the overhead bins have been removed, new smoke detection and fire suppression systems have been installed, the main deck floor has been reinforced and equipped with a cargo handling system, and a new front cargo door has been installed. The capability of the e-jet freighters to provide efficient loading configurations is the fundamental factor that contributes to their attractiveness. Therefore, cargo carriers are able to enhance efficiency by better matching their capacity to the demand for their services. In comparison to larger aircraft, the e-jet freighters are able to operate more frequently and have superior economics of operation in smaller locations. For the E-190F, the maximum gross structural payload is 13,150 kilograms, whereas for the E-195F, it is 14,300 kilograms. This figure takes into account both the underfloor bulk cargo and the main deck. Not only are the net weights and volumes impressive, but they are also impressive when considering the normal cargo density of e-commerce and the main deck configuration with unit load devices. A unit load device is a container that is employed to transfer luggage, freight, and mail onto wide-body aircraft and specific narrow-body aircraft. The range and payload capacity of the E-195F are comparable to those of the B737-300SF, almost 2,000 nautical miles. However, the E-195F consumes less fuel, produces fewer emissions, and has lower maintenance and cash operating costs than the B737-300SF. There are a number of competitive advantages that the E-190F possesses, which places it in a favorable position in the market. According to Embraer, this aircraft has a cargo volume that is more than 40% greater than that of small turboprops that are currently in use and it also has a range that is three times greater. Additionally, it is projected that the operating expenses are up to 30% lower than those of bigger narrow-body freighters at full capacity. Depending on the configuration of the E-190F, cargo can be loaded either on the main deck or in the area that is available below the floor. When it comes to satisfying the diverse logistical needs of modern enterprises, which require solutions that are both quick and efficient for regional transportation, this flexibility is absolutely necessary. Now, do you think Embraer models are less successful in the market than Boeing and Airbus freighters? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.